The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, uh, that's a total lie. We're having lots of trouble here in Tucson with data and Internet connection, folks. So if I lose you, there's nothing I can do about it. It's been off and on all morning. Something's happening in the neighborhood, but I don't know what it is. But right now, we're up and running. I posted the chart of the German DAX. As you can see, it had a little bit of a ABCD structure up to the 50% level, sold off uh, so far this morning. So we'll be able to see if it uh, holds up. That's really what we're going to be waiting on today. Now, we went up and made a major test at that 61% retracement in the S&P that we talked about uh, quite a bit. And uh, so far, it has backed off. Let's just bring this up to remind everybody that this is what we were looking at. And you'll be able to see here that uh, we got up to that uh, exact number, as a matter of fact, at uh, 259. Anyway, um, that's what we're looking at now. Now, what we've done is very interesting. Interesting, folks, now because this is really important. Here's the ball game right now in the S&P from from the cheap seats here in uh, on Broad Street here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That that number that we hit uh, this morning at. Uh, 2912, I believe, in the S&P is a 382 retracement. So it's very important that we stay above that. If we start going below that, that's going to be telling us that, uh, you know, we're heading down uh, a lot more. But that's uh, that's neither here nor there. We don't know whether that's going to happen or not. But if it does, that, that will be the reason. It's at a real critical level for sure. We want to take a look here at also the FTSE because it's also doing the same pattern. And uh, we'll bring this up here. You'll be able to see that we made the 50% retracement on the FTSE, just like we did with the DAX. It hasn't moved down very much, so we'll see. The pound was hit uh, last night. It had some really good support. In fact, we, we talked about this one uh, in one of our videos, the importance of the support here, that you had a uh, near risk-free trade in the uh, – in the British pound there at that 122.85 level. And the key word there was nearly risk-free trade because uh, once we were only risking 10 pips on that, and it once it broke there, it just, you know, cascaded to the downside, which is that's what happens when they look at these things. So we're seeing what's looking at. We're chatting here in the den this morning about inflation and food prices and stuff. Folks, this is nothing. Come on, back in, you got, most of you people weren't even trading back in the 70s when we had food inflation. They used to have supermarkets were being picketed by the housewives, and that's when cattle was selling for not even a hundred bucks, and now they're at a hundred a quarter. You know, so don't uh, they? It's just amazing, and they they change all of the. That's what Volcker did. Volcker went in there and learned how to change the indices. So people thought that there was less inflation, and uh, that's what turned it around. And of course, they sh they slammed the door on the 13% Treasury bond rates and stuff like that. And what do we have now? It's the exact opposite. You know, it's really uh, it's really amazing. Anyway, we'll see uh, we'll see what happens with some of these things. But let's uh, remember, I wanted to bring to your attention. I'm a big fan of uh, Dennis Gartman, folks. I really, you know, I've known him a very long time. He's a really nice fellow. But I have to, I have to pick a bone here. Let's just get it up here, and I'll bring this. Up. He posted here that uh, this was a chart that he's looking at in the S and P, uh, and basically it's a weekly chart, and he's saying that uh, the chart of the Dow and the eventually proved to be a textbook head and shoulders top. Folks, it's not a textbook head and shoulders top. If you go by the work of Dr. Andrew Lowe from, uh, you know, the, the non-random walk down Wall Street that was written in 19, 2002, in order to be a perfect head and shoulders pattern, the left shoulder that you can see there is lower than the right shoulder, correct? And the time distance between those is not correct. This is closer to a double top or a three drive to a top pattern than it is a head and shoulders pattern. 
And that's the way I see it. But uh, those were the rules that Andrew Lowe put out. So we'll see whether that's going to be uh, the case or not. That I don't know. But we'll do one thing at a time as we go through and look at some of these things. The other one that was interesting is that uh, Dennis posted a uh, a real interesting thing on the uh, the sudden move in China buying gold. Now, I don't know, you know, uh, you can see it's during April, July, and October. Uh, evidently, they've been adding to their reserves. That could be the reason, you know, why are we having this big move in gold? Now, gold held, if you remember, when we were talking yesterday, when we got down below that 1495 level, that was very strong support. And, of course, we've had a nice $20 rally uh, from that level, stopping exactly Exactly at the 61% retracement of the high that we made Sunday night at 1519. If we get above the the 1520 level, then this is going to have legs. I don't know whether it's going to happen or not. All I can tell you is that it's got a really good chance of still going lower here, because if we look at platinum, palladium, and copper uh, and silver, uh, these are not these are not bullish markets, folks. They're just not uh, they're not uh, lagging on like we are with the uh, with, with the gold. Silver, you can see here, as we talked about this many times, we're still waiting for that 1660 level uh, in the silver. Whether we get to there or not, I'm not sure. But you know what? Nobody else is either. Now, uh, we are having some, um, just, from a, just from just what's going on with some of these uh, futures charts, I wanted to bring to your attention one that we watch here for Ruby, of course, and that is the, uh, let's get this up here so you can see uh, this is the, the hog market. We were ready to see a nice retracement in the hogs. Uh, the number we were looking at is around 6,400. I believe that's where they got to uh, yesterday or this morning. That's where they're trading. So it's important that these Christmas hogs uh, stay right around this 64, 63 level because if they don't, and if they don't, that means they're going to be going a whole lot lower. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see if that is uh, going better and better. Folks, you know, they can talk about all the inflation and all the other stuff, but the quality of our life, no questions about it. You know, look at the look at the average age now. Here I am, uh, you know, I'm I'm running into eight decades, boys and girls, and I certainly, uh, you know, I don't know how much I got left, but I'm still feeling relatively good. But uh, look, you know, my my grandfather, he lived to be uh, what 96. My great grandmother lived to be 103. My mother, she lived to be 48, and and my father lived to be 60. So, you know, they were heavy smokers, but you know the the average age now has increased, so we got a lot to, to be thankful about. The problem that we're having is, is what's going on in the world with all these political things that are going on? I mean, I've never seen anything so sickening in my whole life. I mean, it's just uh, it's just amazing uh, what what's going on, but I can't let that bother me, and I try not to watch it at all. So we, uh, uh, okay, okay, oh, the, the, the hogs hit limit down? Really? Wow. I didn't know that. Son of a gun. Okay. I'm, I'm really focusing on the S&P here today and stuff because, uh, you know, that's really the uh, – yeah, I saw that yesterday. Um, Okay, let's get uh, <laughs> all right. Let's uh, let's move on here. Someone asked a question. Were they having a pretty good rally today? We had a we had a, a two point drop, two and a half point drop in the bonds. They've since come back and are testing those highs again up at that uh, that one sixty five oh three. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile 
Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks. Someone's asked a question about uh, limit up and limit down. Uh, that's those are those are rules that they have at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. They're set by the exchange members, and what it allows it. In other words, if the market goes up a certain amount, it uh, it stops trading. And the reason why is that they want to make it uh, make people think about what they're doing and and maybe give them some time to think about. It. Actually, limit up and limit down really doesn't help very much because the market's going to go where it's supposed to go anyway. But this allows the member firms to protect themselves somewhat. So right, when, when something goes limit down, it just means there are no more buyers there. There are only sellers. When it goes limit up, there are only buyers and no sellers. So that's what you have to know. In the, in the cattle and hogs, it happens once in a while. It doesn't happen too much in the grains anymore because the limits, they expand them enough. And then stock indices, of course, are so wide that you don't see those at all. So they don't happen very often, but uh, you don't want to get involved in a limit up and limit down situation because it's uh, well it's okay if you're on the right side of the market but if you're on the wrong side of the market it's not a fun thing to be on so that's what limit up and limit down means and I believe we have Mr. Z on the line now John are you there I am Larry I am um, calling in to add something to your description of limits and the hog market but uh, first uh, to thank uh. you for Helping us navigate the uh, stock index futures. Appreciate that. I wanted to uh, just uh, add to something Larry had mentioned regarding limits, namely when a market um, goes limit up or limit down. The following day, the exchanges typically have a routine of expanding limits by 50%. For example, uh, yesterday. Uh, several hog contracts were limit down uh, three pennies per pound. The expanded limit for hogs today would be a limit of 4.5 uh, cents. So that just gives a, um, a quick tutorial there. Uh, I also wanted to share with Larry something regarding the hog market. Uh, today, 
December hogs are trading somewhere in the range of 67 cents. And, of course, much talk is given to the uh, loss of half the hog herd in China and how that is influencing price. What I'll just share with anybody who's interested in this hog market, uh, indeed, exports of U.S. pork are, in fact, up, largely driven by uh, demand coming out of China, not exclusively directly China buying U.S. Uh, with the trade disputes between the U.S. and China, uh, China is limiting somewhat its purchase of U.S. pork, but buying large amounts elsewhere, and that demand is then showing up and shifting from other countries back to the U.S. So that effect clearly is being seen. What I'll share with anybody who's interested is the U.S. Uh, hog herd has been expanded very dramatically, uh, 2016 through this year. And that all came in response to a very severe disease that hit in the U.S. in 2014. It was a uh, virus that killed piglets. And uh, people may recall hog futures prices went to a buck 30 spring or summer of 2014. In response to that, the U.S. hog industry expanded their supplies dramatically. And it takes a while, but they've done the job. And that was an excellent example of what uh, former TFNN host uh, Ed Young used to say, the cure for high prices is high prices. So we had very high prices in uh, hogs and pork. Five years ago, the industry responded with uh, dramatically increased uh, supplies and slaughter capacities. And that took a while to, uh, to unfold, but that's now in place. The reason for my sharing all that here and now is to say December hogs, if not for that demand coming out of China, would likely not be at 67, but down near 50, heading on its way towards 40. So uh, anybody who's trading December or February hog futures, please keep that in mind. Um, that is all I had, so I will sign off. And uh, thanks, Larry and uh, TFNN team. Uh, great to have you guys all here. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.